What is up YouTube? It's Brandon Ralcam here today with a new YouTube video. In this video I will be showcasing my cassette tape collection for March of 2022. It's been a good few months since I did a cassette video. I believe last time I did one was November of 2021. So it's been a good few months. I've got new stuff to showcase. As always, I'm eager to showcase the new stuff. And during this video, I will be playing The Siren from Illusions of Grandeur. I got this CD when I saw this band play back in January. My band played with these guys. And uh, they were very killer. I'm not sure exactly what metal subgenre these bands fall under. They are a metal band, obviously. Um, the band, as well as their followers, have uh, labeled this band as being theatrical metal, and that label comes from their, um, their live performances, or at least that's what I'm going to assume. Uh, the band has this $12,000 light system that they bring with them to shows, and it is truly something to see. And, uh, I featured this CD in my previous CD collection video, which is also my most recent video. And I said I have not listened to this CD yet, but since then I have listened to it and I really enjoyed it. And I think you will too. So before I jump into showcasing cassette tapes, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will not miss any videos when I upload them. And let's jump right into this. Starting up, we've got something on the more classic side, and that is ACDC's Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. So this cassette tape, as well as the next cassette tape I will showcase, have a little bit of a, a funny backstory. I've explained that backstory in my previous CD collection video, but long story short, I was going through a drawer in my bedroom putting some stuff away, and I found this cassette tape another cassette tape, a CD, and a couple 7-inch vinyl records that I didn't even know I had. So that was a pleasant surprise. And uh, yeah, this is definitely, as I said, a classic album that, you know, you, you've listened to it at least once if you have a, even the slightest decent taste in music. There's all kinds of great songs off of this album. For example, the title track, um, the infamous Big Balls, Problem Child on side B. There's a, let's see, there's gonna be some rockin', Ride On, Squealer. Uh, this cassette tape, as well as the next one I will be showcasing, I don't know where the, um, uh, the cassette box or the J card are, so. But not the end of the world. Right here we've got an album from a band that is despised by pretty much every punk rocker on earth, and that is uh, Dookie from Green Day. Now I know that Green Day, as well as pop punk in general, are far from being punk rock, or real punk rock, I should say, but I will say that there are some enjoyable tracks on this album, or at least in my opinion. Uh, some examples being Longview, Welcome to Paradise, Basket Case, um, When I Come Around, In the End, and FOD. You know, pop punk has always been a hot button topic in the punk rock community. I will admit, my knowledge of punk rock is nowhere near that of my knowledge of heavy metal, but I know one thing is for sure and that is pop punk is not appreciated throughout the punk rock community but either way I've got this cassette tape and uh, I do not see myself getting rid of it Green Day Dookie to make up for me showcasing fake punk here we have a piece of real punk rock and that is the Anods rehearsal tape for those who do not know, I play guitar in a punk rock band called the a -Nots. This is a cassette tape that I have made throughout the course of five different band practices. Let's see, I wrote on the inside of this the dates as to when the tracks were recorded. So the first two tracks on side A were recorded on March 29th, 2021. 
uh, tracks three to six on side A were recorded on June 15th, 2021. And the seventh and final track on side A was recorded two weeks after that. The first four tracks on side B were recorded on September 8th, 2021. And the fifth track on side B was recorded on November 18th, 2021. This cassette tape was very fun to make, to say the least. Uh, the seventh track on side A contains two songs that um, were on, well, I should not say songs, but rather takes. It contains a take of two songs that made it onto the debut rehearsal demo called So What from the A-Nots. And uh, I think it's very interesting, or at least to me, that I've got something from the band's debut release on tape when it was being recorded. So, the a rehearsal tape. And uh, I just want to get it out of the way right now. I do not see this cassette tape being uh, copied or duplicated for a profit or uh, selling copies, I should say. But yeah, just something for me to enjoy. And I have digitized this tape. And sometimes I'll listen to it digitally. Pennsylvania's finest underground punk rock band, right here on cassette tape. Now on to some metal. We've got Acid Reflu A Acid Cross. Almost said the the name of this compilation cassette tape. We've got Acid Cross with their 23 track compilation album called Acid Reflux. This is a Canadian thrash metal band, and I must say a really, really killer one at that. This cassette tape features, I believe, the, the first two albums from this band, as well as an EP. Side A contains Black Moon Rights, which I believe is the band's debut full length. Side B contains the band's EP called Metal Punks From Beyond, and... Murder Manor, which I believe is the band's most recent full-length album. I bought this cassette tape at a show I went to on February 12th. Um, Acid Cross did not play that gig, but rather this cassette tape was being sold by people who were putting on the show, or at least helping put it on. And I saw this I thought it looked pretty cool, so I decided to purchase it. And uh, right here, we got this really, really nice red cassette tape. Cassette tapes other than black or white are not very prevalent in my cassette tape collection. And uh, I don't know, I always think that cassette tapes are in a color other than black or white are always something special to have and are pretty neat. So yes, Acid Cross with their 23 track compilation album, Acid Reflux. Check it out. That Acid Cross tape was one of two cassettes that I bought at that show. The second one being Savagery with their, uh, their EP Off the Ruins. Let's see if I can find a date as to when this was released. Um, I believe it was 2017. Hold on, hold on. I believe that the date is in here somewhere. Uh, if not, I'll have it pop up just about now with the correct year. But yes, this is a... Uh, this is a French speed metal slash thrash metal band. Uh, four track EP. Really, really killer throat ripping Canadian metal. Um, the band did a cover of Awaken the Serpent by Toxic Holocaust. And I must say they did a very, very good cover of it. And just throughout this whole tape, it's just filled with nonstop, brutal throat-ripping metal that you cannot go wrong with. 
And when I first opened this cassette and took it out of the box, a Bandcamp redeem code fell out. And uh, since I currently don't have a Bandcamp account, I just gave the redeem code to a friend of mine and he greatly appreciated it. But yes, this is another metal band that is definitely worth checking out, and I definitely recommend buying the cassette tape. Savagery Off the Ruins. I had mentioned this cassette tape in my uh, most recent CD collection video. This is Cruel Bomb's new EP called Man Made. When I bought this cassette tape, I... Er, I should say when I paid for it, it wasn't clicking with me that I was supposed to be getting this and I got the CD at the same time, but I don't have an issue with having the same release on two different formats. Uh, cool Bomb is easily my favorite thrash metal band from Pennsylvania and definitely one of my favorite Pennsylvania metal bands. Um, this is a one, two, three, four, five, a five track EP. Definitely something that fans of Nuclear Assault, Slayer, Power Trip, SOD, or Anthrax would enjoy. I definitely recommend it. So, yes, Cruel Bomb with their 2022 EP, Man Made. The last two tapes for this video came from a local music store. I believe I bought them on January 22nd. I could be wrong though. First up from that store we have High on Fire with their full length album called Snakes for the Divine. If you know nothing about High on Fire, the guitar player from Sleep plays in this band, Matt Pike. and. Uh, this is some really good stoner metal. Uh, this is my first release from this band that I own on a physical format. I have not listened through this cassette tape yet. I'm going to make it a point to do that real soon. And uh, I guess in my next collection video, whether that be a CD collection video or a cassette tape collection video, I will try to remember to include my thoughts on this tape. So yes, High on Fire, Snakes for the Divine. Last but not least, we have Ted Nugent with his self-titled album. I figured when I saw this cassette tape at the local record store, I might as well grab it. You know, it's classic rock that has inspired bands such as Motorhead, Pantera, and so forth. And uh, it's got some really good songs on it. My favorite song off of this would have to be Stranglehold. I know that's probably a really basic answer, but there's a reason for it, and that's because that song is awesome. Let's see, there's a Stranglehold, Stormtroopin, uh, just what the doctor ordered, you make me feel right at home, and other good tracks. So, to end this off, we've got Ted Nugent with his self-titled album. That ends it off for my March 2022 cassette tape collection video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next YouTube video.